Here's why so many real estate agents struggle to and probably will never break the $100,000 income mark. Stay tuned. What's up everybody, BC, welcome back to another video. Wanted to really, really buckle down on this video and give you the reality as to why a lot of people in real estate are not gonna make $100,000 and some common mistakes that I see. Or these are gonna be pointers for you if you're on your way, okay? The first thing is this, people have continued to avoid and have not embraced uh, really forging and creating and honing a world-class skill set, okay? This has been said by me for years and I'm sure other people are saying it too. However, take a look, take stock of your current situation. How dedicated are you to building your skills as a salesperson, okay? Period. You could be like, yeah, yeah, I already know that, but look at your schedule, look at your daily activities and your dedication to said activities. Are you role playing? Are you studying? Are you making yourself an expert? You see, because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You can watch me and other people and say, oh, that's good stuff. But if you're not working on yourself and actively, not only engaging with clients to test your skills all the time, but on the back end to studying, role playing and refining your skills as if you were an actor or, or, or something like a musician who's constantly in practice and, and, and playing and tuning their guitar and playing it. Are you actually that dedicated? Or do you spend five minutes here and there or watch one video and that's it? You need to be ruthless and obsessed with your skill set. Okay? Remember, I'll say this again, I just, just role playing, not studying or anything else, just practicing scenarios, objections, scripts, uh, conversations with clients, I role played two hours a day, minimum five days a week. That's 10 hours of practice Monday through Friday. And most people don't practice 10 hours in a month. Okay, that's not counting my time on phone calls, going after leads, you know, door knocking and all that stuff. Two hours a day. Well, that, that's crazy, BC. Well, if you want crazy results, you're gonna have to put in crazy effort. If you want world class results and skills, you're gonna have to put in world class effort. I still see people sleeping on this concept, okay? That's how dedicated you have to be. Now, it's boring, of course. Ask Muhammad Ali. He said he hated every moment of training, but he knew that's what it would take for him to be the greatest. And look what he did and look at his legacy. So, recommit, or if you haven't committed at all, commit to building those skills, okay? It's very simple. I've been preaching it for years, okay? That's the first thing. Number two would be, um, we can say non or passive marketing, meaning you're putting money into stuff. Active marketing would mean like you're getting Vulcan 7, Red X, you know, a dialer, you're, you're getting data to go door knock, like you're actively doing it, but passive marketing too early, okay? What I mean by that is if point number one is not set, okay? And you don't have the skills and you're pouring all this money into marketing, you're gonna be negative because whether you actively prospect for a lead or you market on Facebook, you do mailers, you do some sort of paid advertising, guess what, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna have to have a conversation with the individual. And if your skills are not up to par, you're practically and basically pissing your money away in reality. And I see so many people doing it because they wanna run away from the first point. You're gonna have to confront <clears throat> the fact if you have skills or not at some point in the business. Do it in the beginning. Stop running away from it, okay? Otherwise, the second one, when you're buying leads or you're paying towards marketing, you're, you're not gonna squeeze every drop of juice out of it because you're not ready. Whether they text you, call you, email you, you're gonna have to have a conversation with them and if they're a buyer or seller, you're gonna have to meet with them and talk to them. And some people's skills are so bad, you won't even get that opportunity. They're gonna call you and you have that 30 seconds or one minute for first impression and that's your shot. So you paid X amount of dollars for that moment on the phone. Well, if you're not ready for it, guess what? Then someone else is gonna get it who has the skill and you just paid X amount of dollars for that lead and you lost it. So when it comes to buying leads, wait. Earn it the hard way with the skills, <clears throat> the school of hard knocks. You're not gonna be able to replace it, okay? So stop running away from it. Number three is your follow-up game sucks. Here's a few things that I can divulge to help you, okay? Number one, what is a lead to you? There's plenty of systems out there. You can follow me or 1,000 other people who are probably gonna give you different um, systems and processes, that's fine. Pick one or model after them and create your own, but do you have a definition of what a lead is? For us on my team and myself, it's someone who's gonna buy or sell real estate in 30 days or less, period. That's a lead to us, okay? For you it might be three months, six months, whatever. 
the system and the process that you create will be based on your definition of what a lead is. If you're newer and you have less business, you might want to make that window a little bit bigger. Now, if you're doing one, two, three, four, five deals uh, a month, then you're going to have to start trickling it down. And when you get to the point where you're doing four or five a month or more, you're probably going to have to have it at least 30 days or less. Okay. But remember your whole system and follow up process that you create or model after starts from that definition. Okay. It is your follow up system. You have to have some sort of system, even if it's you tracking your leads on the Excel spreadsheet, like I did in the beginning, because I didn't have any money, but you have notes in there and you know when you're going to call them and when you're going to do everything. That's fine. As long as it's somewhere written down and you have an actual system, which leads me into my next point is you need to have, um, we, we can say variety. That's the word variety in your follow up. Okay. It goes with this because a lot of people stick to just one way of following up, right? They get somebody on Facebook, they message them. They only contact them through the messenger. Okay. Someone uh, gets a lead from cold calling. They only call them back over and over and over. Someone gets an email inquiry. They only email them. You need variety. You need to hit people from different angles. As time goes on and social media evolves and marketing evolves, people are getting bombarded. Okay. So a lot of times they will tune you out. If you only reach out to them through the same outlet and channel, they'll tune you out like this. The moment somebody in their mind subconsciously has figured you out and they've caught your pattern, you're done. You need to constantly break that pattern and come from different angles. Okay. So if you know where they live, knock on their door, right? Write them a letter, a little thank you card. Okay. Email them, call them, text them, send them a video email or video text. Okay. That's already five or six. I gave you there and rotate them and have more variety. That's going to help you tremendously staying top of mind, keeping it fresh and also not pissing people off because when you hit them from different angles, you're less likely to upset them from your follow up. But again, it all comes from the point before, which is your system. Okay. Um, one that's attached to this that I want to cover too, is we seem to have hit a wedge in real estate and in sales in general, where people are either, you're either, I'm going to be the hardcore salesman, or I'm going to not sell at all and just build relationships. Newsflash, ladies and gentlemen, you can do both. We do both. And we're very good at both have the skill set, but also understand that this is a long-term game. Okay. That's what's going to lead you to get to that promise land of making a hundred thousand dollars or more. You need to have the skills and be able to work with the people and guide and close the people who are ready now, but you also need to have your follow-up system and processes and conversations and flow ready for the people that are going to take time to nurture that you build relationships. You can do both. Okay. So in one sense, don't completely back off to where you're not selling at all and don't really want to focus on skills. And at the same time, don't shove it down people's throats, find that happy medium because you're going to have to be able to do both effectively if you want to grow a huge business because the people that are ready now want someone who's sharp and the people who aren't ready now, they don't want you to shove it down their throat, but they want you to stay in touch with them. Okay. Do both master both. And again, this takes time. All of the things I'm describing now take time. You're going to make mistakes. It's good. It's okay. Okay. No one's going to hold your hand though. You have to be willing to go through it. All right. Here's the last one. Okay. You're too focused on, everyone and everything else instead of yourself, your business and where you're going. You're too caught up in Facebook groups, talking shit and worrying about drama. You're too focused on the news and this new company that's going to come out. That's going to make real estate agents obsolete. You're too worried about what the next person is doing in their systems and thinking it's better or worse. You're, you're, you're being sold the next magic bullet or magic pill. And, and you're thinking about it. Look, you're too distracted, man. You're bullshitting on social media. You're bullshitting on Instagram and YouTube and watching 50,000 people instead of working in your business and working on yourself. Stop the madness, man. That's it. Focus on you and what you're doing period and your journey. Stop blaming, gossiping, criticizing and doing all this shit on the outside. Do you, this is probably the most important one. And I saved it for the end because this is what causes 90% plus of people's demise in this business. You're too focused out there instead of here and what you're doing, your world, your game plan, your path, your business, because that's all that matters. At the end of the day, does all this gossiping on Facebook and all this other bullshit that you're caught up in and, and, and scrolling on Instagram, does that pay your bills? Does that get you closer to your goals? Does that get you what you want and the reason you joined this business? No. So wake up and focus on you, your business and your path. Okay. So let's break it down again. Number one, skills and commitment to mastering and having a world-class skill set. Number two, you're buying leads, which you shouldn't in general, but even if you're ready, you're buying them too early. Okay. Number three, your follow up system. Okay. And with that, the variety of your follow up. Okay. Number four, you're chasing leads 
or you're being too narrow-minded. You're either too passive or too aggressive. Be a master of both. And lastly, you're focused on other things, other people, instead of focusing on you and your path, okay? Keep it sharp. And I guarantee you, if you stay focused on this, it's not that hard. $100,000 in commission is not that difficult. If your average deal is 8,000, 12, 13 deals. That's one a month. That's not a big deal, okay? So stay focused, follow these steps, and I guarantee you, you're gonna do a lot better. And eventually, you'll hit $100,000, I guarantee you. And you're probably gonna do way more, all right? That's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think or if you'd like to add anything if you're somebody who's making over $100,000. I would also like to know if you're making over $100,000. It's cool to see other people who are succeeding. Also, make sure you guys check out my two new YouTube channels, my personal BC Vlogs channel and also my Supreme Being Podcast channel. Be sure to subscribe to those and follow them. Also, um, huge shout out to everybody on the cold calling challenge. I really appreciate everybody that signed up. You guys are gonna get some crazy results. And last two announcements. Number one, if you wanna partner with me and Team BC, go to partnerwithteambc.com and check that out. And lastly, but not least, Modern Success, my personal coaching and mentorship program for the planet. We have a ton of realtors, but we also have a ton of non-realtors because this is a program that I created to be all encompassing and I recommend every single one of you get on it because all the major areas of your life will be handled when you join this program, okay? Our next live event is gonna be in Vegas in February. It's gonna be insane. All right, that's it for this one. Peace out, Team BC. We'll see you on the next one.